What's going on guys? This is the first episode of Is It Healthy? The first thing we're gonna be reviewing is a Cliff Bar. Cliff Bar, is it healthy? Let's find out. This is a Cool Mint chocolate flavored Cliff Bar. And from the package, it looks like it would be a healthy choice. There's a rock climber on there, he's out in nature, he's fit, he's strong, he's adventurous. This surely looks like a healthy food bar. And even it's on the front it says 70% organic ingredients and it says nutritional supplement on the bottom there. So let's read into this. I know a lot of vegans like to eat Cliff Bars like little meal, repl meal replacements. I know personally I used to eat a lot of Cliff Bars when I first went vegan. So I didn't have a clue what I was eating though. And even if I looked at the ingredients, I probably didn't know what half of them meant. I just thought, oh, like a whole bunch of ingredients. They must be good. But let's actually delve into them and, and look at the, uh, the nutrients here. What are the ingredients? And we'll break them down one ingredient at a time, see if they're actually healthy. And we're gonna see, would we eat any of these ingredients on their own? Would we eat them on their own? Or are we only eating them because they're all mixed together? That's a good way to tell if something's healthy or not. Would you eat it on its own? Like would, a banana, would you eat that on its own? Yeah, you would. Let's find out. First thing, brown rice syrup. No way. You wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't eat that on my own. I wouldn't eat brown rice syrup on my own, and I definitely wouldn't feed it to a young child. And if I wouldn't feed something to a young child, it's definitely not healthy. Young children are the most sensitive. They're the most finely tuned humans on the planet to see if something's healthy or not. So brown rice syrup, no. And that's the first ingredient. Next up is rolled oats. Rolled oats. I guess they're not the worst thing in the world, so we'll let that one slide. We'll say rolled oats are healthy. Soy rice crisps. Soy rice crisps. Um, and it's not even organic, because if it was organic, it would have a little star beside it, according to this. So that's most likely GMO soy. And what is a soy rice crisp? Well, in brackets, we've got soy protein isolate, rice flour, barley malt extract. Malt extract. No, bro. Rice flour. Soy protein isolate. Hell no. Next ingredient. Cane syrup. In other words, sugar. Sugar syrup. Cane is another word for sugar. Syrup is just liquefied sugar. So, wow. So far we've got brown rice syrup, GMO soy, and cane sugar as the top three ingredients. That's what the bulk of this bar is made up of. Let's go on a bit further here. Soy butter. Soy butter, that's organic though. So non-GMO soy butter. That would be like, meaning f butter, meaning like the fat from a soybean. We'll say that's not healthy. It's, oh, in brackets it said roasted soybeans. Soybean oil and salt. That's how you make soy butter. You take roasted soybeans, Soybean oil, any oil is not a health food. Oil is something you put in the car, oil is something you put on your bike, oil is something you put on the machines at the gym to make them slide smoother. You are not a tin man, do not consume oil. You are a human being. Oil is not human food. And then salt. Salt is not healthy. I mean, very small amounts, sure, but it's not a health food. Is it? You wouldn't eat salt on its own. Not a health food. And you can get enough sodium from eating enough plant foods. Uh, next ingredient. Roasted soybeans. There they are again. Roasted soybeans. Organic. Next up is chocolate cookies. Wouldn't think those are healthy, but let's look at what is a chocolate cookie according to them. Oat flour, dried cane syrup. So dried cane syrup now. Alkalized cocoa. I'm not sure what that is. Probably just alkaline chocolate instead of acidic chocolate. Sunflower oil. Not healthy at all. You never want to put sunflower oil in your body. Unsweetened chocolate. Cool. That's a fruit. Salt. There's salt again. Baking soda. Baking soda. Interesting. You're going to eat baking soda. I think baking soda is very healthy for your mouth to rinse around. Very alkaline. But I uh, don't know if I'd want to eat it for a meal, nonetheless. Uh, soy lecithin. Not organic either, so GMO soy. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, soy flour. Organic soy flour. And alkalized cocoa again. Another ingredient, fig paste. Yes, fig paste, the first truly healthy ingredient. If this bar was straight fig paste, I would eat it. I would encourage other fruitarians and other vegans and other raw vegans and other health advocates to eat this if it was strictly fig paste. 
and uh, that's way down the list there. But we found it, fig paste. So definitely one healthy ingredient here so far, um, like truly healthy ingredient, fig paste. Next ingredient, oat hull fiber. Sounds like the shit they scraped off the bottom of the factory floor. White chocolate flavored chips made up of dried cane syrup. Again, that's that sugar again. Cocoa butter. Cocoa butter, that's just like the oil from cacao beans blended with cacao, I suppose. Soy flour, GMO soy flour. Soy lecithin, GMO soy lecithin. Vanilla extract. All right, just some flavoring in there. And then natural flavors. You never know what natural flavors is. If you see natural flavors, best to steer clear. Why wouldn't they just say what it is? Why do they have to add something synthetic? This natural flavors. It tastes natural, but no, man. It's natural flavors. What is that? It should say what it is. Steer clear of natural flavors. Next ingredient, sea salt. Wow. So, so sea salt. It says sea salt. Up above, it just said straight up salt. So up above, they're using just sodium chloride, straight up table salt. And here they're using some sea salt, so good on them, I suppose, for using that little extra touch. Going the extra mile. Next up, milled flaxseed. Okay, cool, another somewhat healthy ingredient. That's as the last ingredient, so they probably put like a flaxseed or two on this bar. Um, and then they've added like a whole bunch of vitamins and minerals, just like the synthetic vitamins and minerals. So it's basically like a, a vitamin you're eating here. I'm not even really gonna go into these, but they're, they're different vitamins and minerals like folic acid, ascorbic acid, um, dipotassium phosphate, potassium iodide, cyanocobalamin, which is B12, riboflavin, thiamine, chromium chloride, sodium molyb molybdate, whole bunch of different ones, things I can't even, Things I don't even recognize, just like strange synthetic vitamins and minerals that they make in a lab. They just stick them in this bar to make it look like, oh, look at all these vitamins and minerals. Um, and then in the, in the warning thing, it says, warning, contains soy, which is GMO soy in this case, barley and oats, may contain traces of peanuts, wheat, triticola, milk, rye, and other tree nuts. So may contain traces of milk. So if you're vegan, I would steer, steer well clear of Cliff Bars. Not just because they may contain traces of milk. It's probably like playing Russian roulette with like 100 bars and every 100 bar you might be getting like a little speck of some cow pus in there. Uh, but I would steer, steer well clear of these just because it's bullshit in here, man. This is crap, this is garbage. You do not want to be eating Cliff Bars if health is your goal. If your goal is to fill up and feel heavy and feel like, okay, I've had some food, then maybe have a Cliff Bar. If you're sponsored by Cliff, then you gotta promote Cliff. But if you're not sponsored by Cliff and you don't have to eat Cliff, steer well clear of Cliff. Another bar I'd probably recommend having something like a Lara Bar. A Lara Bar looks like this, and I'm not in any way, shape, or form affiliated with a Lara Bar. Um, in fact, they may have just been bought out by like Monsanto or something, I'm not sure. I'll post the text right here if that's true or not. I just think I remember hearing that. Um, Lara Bar is the original fruit and nut bar. If you're looking for an alternative to Cliff Bars, which failed the healthy or not test, definitely not healthy, um, Cliff, Lara Bars are a great way to go. A Lara Bar contains the following ingredients. Are you ready for this? Every Lara Bar flavor has different ingredients, but this one is the apple pie Lara Bar, and it contains dates, healthy. Almonds, we'll say they're healthy. You can have a little snack of almonds. Unsweetened apples, as opposed to sweetened apples, like the ones they add in here with all that cane syrup. Unsweetened apples, walnuts, we'll say walnuts are healthy, whole food. Raisins, raisins are just dried grapes. And cinnamon, awesome, awesome. A little bit of cinnamon, does the body good, I'm sure. This is a healthy food bar. I would say, yes, this is a healthy food bar, go ahead and eat it. Of course, you wanna focus, if you're gonna, Focus on a healthy diet. Make sure you're focusing on the fruit. Make sure you're getting most of your calories from sweet, ripe, fresh, raw, juicy, organic fruit. Things like mangoes and papayas and avocados and peaches and plums and nectarines and oranges and melons and berries. But if you're having a snack, you're on the go, you're, you, you want to be a rock climber like this guy, don't eat Cliff Bars, man. Instead, bring along a Lara Bar or just bring along some dried bananas or some dried dates with you and 
that should do the trick. Hope this video helped. If you want to share this with anyone who eats Cliff Bars, go ahead. They might find it interesting. They might thumb it down right away. If this video has any thumbs down, it's because people are in love with Cliff Bars. Totally understand that. If you're not a lover of Cliff Bar, you have no intention of going ahead and eating a Cliff Bar after you watch this video and you want to instead maybe focus on bars like Lara Bars or you're just a fruit eater, you want to eat more fruit, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next video of Healthy or Not. Peace.